governor's up for re-election. He has uh, around $30 million. No opponent right now. More money, just to give some context here, more money than anybody who's thinking about running for president right now. And probably more than most gubernatorial candidates in any primary. And he doesn't even have a primary opponent. What if someone decided they were going to run against him if they were progressive? What would you do? I, I think there will be um, a Democratic primary. I've always thought there'd be a Democratic primary, and I think it'll be uh, spirited because there's a lot of issues that have to be discussed. It's early. Yeah, it's early still in mm -hmm. the scheme February. of things. No, <laughs> well, I, it's still, you know. I, I'm just saying I don't mm -hmm. think this is over. I think inevitably there will be a progressive challenge because of what's going on in the country, what's going on in the party, and what's going on in the state. And I think a lot of people want to ask some tough questions and want there to be that debate. Would you come out and endorse the progressive? I scrupulously say that when I'm ready to engage electoral issues in this state, you'll know, but I'm not ready yet. But I will just say, I think on the bigger level, I, I believe there will be uh, a debate over the future of the party in the state. And I don't think the fact that it's been quiet up to now means that's all there is to it. If Governor Cuomo decides to run for president, as he has so much money and it seems like he's, he's inclined to do so right now, uh, and he's the only, let's say he's the only representative of New York, elected from New York, that runs. Where would you stand in that? I, again, I'm not going to do the hypotheticals. I'll say this. I, I, I have real political differences with the governor. That's well known. And they are ideological and substantive. Um, I think progressives are ascendant in the Democratic Party. I fundamentally believe the Democratic Party will nominate a progressive for president. Um, I think there's some really good people out there, and it's too early to talk about that, though, because we've got 2018 to think about all over the country. But I feel fundamentally the party's changing rapidly, and the energy, and you saw this in Alabama, Virginia, and many other places, the energy is all with the progressive side of the party. The, the folks who are running, the folks who are volunteering, the people who are signing up to vote, it's all coming from one place. The notion of... Uh, the party as the amorphous thing it was allowed to be for so long, that's dying quickly. And I think that's very, very healthy. But I think everyone is going to be held to that standard. So anyone who thinks they can run in 2020 as a moderate or they can avoid definition is sorely mistaken.